What's good, soup? Today I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be breaking down some new in game footage of San for Nine prospect about an Aguki and how he just got exposed badly. So let's get straight to it. Of course, as most of you guys know by now, I've already posted a couple of videos on Adigoki's basketball progress thus far, and it's safe to say, this man is honestly a mystery. From barely knowing his identity, to only recognizing a clip of him dunking, we didn't know what type of Adi we were exactly witnessing. However, over a month ago, some in-game footage was finally shown to the internet about Sam Funai Abari on Adigoki, and well, he was dominant. <laughs> However, those were only his highlights and there wasn't really any full games to break down until I saw this full 45 minute video on NPC's basketball channel between the Vipers and the Soldiers. If you guys didn't know, the Elite Soldiers is Adiguki's basketball team and well I decided to watch this full game to see how good Adiguki really is and the type of competition that he's playing against. And after watching this game, it's safe to say that Adiguki has a long way to go. His game got truly exposed in the scrimmage and I'm about to show you why. The first thing that got exposed about Adiguki's game is his stamina. It really looked like it hurt for him to run on the court and even walk, as he was limping a lot. His back posture is just horrible and while it's a big issue for him moving forward, this could make him really injury prone on the court and cut his basketball career short. Like when he fell right here, I thought Adiguki was going to break out born or something because of how huge this guy is, but thank god he was okay. With this in mind, since Adiguki is really stiff, he's of course really slow on the court and while he's always late on defense and allows a lot of easy buckets. Moving on, the second thing that got exposed about Adikuki's game is his horrible hands. This man simply cannot catch a basketball. He's like Kwame Brown, literally. Bruh. Anyway, since Adiguki is not mobile, he doesn't go for the ball and just waits for it to come to him, which makes it really predictable for smart defenses to contest. You just have to jump and have a strong body to lock down about Adiguki, as that gets him really tired on the court. The third thing that got exposed about Adiguki's game is his unorthodox offense. Since Adiguki is once again really stiff on the court, he doesn't seem to have any type of post moves in his arsenal. When he gets the ball, which is rarely because he has bad hands, he has horrible coordination and cannot do anything at all. Adikuki just dribbles and launches a prayer hoping to go in, which is a big issue. Like right here, even though this shot went in, it looked very ugly and unorthodox. When he faces more athletic centers in the long run, that's easily a lockup and a turnover by a bad Adikuki. However, at the same time, when the defense is forced to commit into a guard, Adikuki can excel as he can get easy dunks like this in the paint. His off the ball movement is one of his biggest strengths for sure, even though he does need to stop bringing the ball down if he doesn't want to commit a turnover. The fourth thing that got exposed about Adikuki's game is his shooting. Of course, in my last video, I did say that Adikuki is a decent free throw shooter at best, but when I saw this recent footage, that wasn't the case at all. In this particular game, Adikuki went all of 6 from the free throw line, which is horrible. Unlike my last Adikuki video, he didn't follow through at all this game, and his shots were very flat. His hand placement on the ball is just very bad, which eliminates him from having any type of mid-range or 3-point shooting package. Adeguki really needs a guy like Hakeem Olajuwon to train him if he wants to be something special in the future. He needs footwork lessons immediately and at least a mid-range shot to compete against the other pro athletes. The fifth thing that got exposed about Adeguki's game is his rebounding. Surprisingly, even though Adeguki is 7 for 9, his IQ is really questionable when rebounding. Of course, he does get a lot of easy rebounds by just standing there and grabbing the ball, but when he's guarded, he could not get any at all. His unathletic abilities allow a lot of missed opportunities for his team, which is not good at all. Like right here, that's an easy rebound for Adiguki if he at least jumped a couple of inches for the ball and stopped ball watching. And last but not least, Adiguki's defense got exposed badly. His defense is honestly one of the worst aspects of his game. Of course, if you shoot in front of him, he can get a lot of easy blocks due to his long wingspan. However, if you space the floor out and make Adiguki stay in the middle, it's over for his team. Since Adiguki is really slow, he always comes late to contest shots and sometimes doesn't even guard up, which is yet again a big issue. Anyway, since Adeguki just stays in the paint, he never guards the pick and roll and just lets the opponent shoot. Just watching this clip over and over again shows how he will barely get playing time if he pursues a basketball career going forward. In a 3 point era like this, you have to be able to help out on shooters, but Adeguki is just not coordinated enough to do so. Anyways, to conclude this video, Adeguki still has a long way to go. From needing better coordination to being a decent shooter, Adeguki needs a guy like Hakeem Olajuwon to honestly train him continuously so he can take his game to the next level. Progress must be made sooner rather than later or else Adeguki will not reach his dream of playing basketball professionally. We'll have to wait and see what happens though and that concludes the video. 
What do you guys think of this article key footage? Do you think he will make it to the next level even with these weaknesses? Let me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more basketball content, and turn on post notifications to get notified of my official videos. I'll be around a great day. Peace out.